This video is going to focus on how do we determine the end behavior of a graph of a given function. So we have three examples that we're going to go over. And we want to know what is the end behavior. What is this graph going to look at at its endpoints? And the way that we do that is by looking at the degree of the function and by looking at the leading coefficient of the function. So we first want to look at the degree of the function. And we want to know, is it an even or odd degree, right? So when we talk about the degree, we're talking about the highest power of the function, right? So what is the highest power of the function? If it's a 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, so on, those are your odd functions, right? If it's 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, those are your even functions. And then once we know that, we then want to look at the leading coefficient. And we want to know, is the leading coefficient positive or is it negative? Okay, so if it's an even function and the leading coefficient is positive, your end behavior is going to look like the following here. It's going to be rising to the left and rising to the right. right. If the degree is even and the low leading coefficient is negative, then it's doing the opposite. It's going to fall to the left and fall to the right. If it's odd and the leading coefficient is positive, it's going to fall to the left, rise to the right. If it's an odd degree with a negative leading coefficient, then it's going to rise to the left and fall to the right. Otherwise, as long as you know these things, you can, you can state the end behavior of any given function. So let's take a look at example A. Example A says f of x is equal to negative 4x to the fifth plus 6x cubed plus 2x. So the degree of this function is a 5, that's the highest power, and the leading coefficient is negative. So the degree is 5, which means it's odd, Leading coefficient is negative, so that means it's going to rise to the left and fall to the right. And there's a couple of different ways that they might want you to write that. Um, I like to use the arrows just as a visual. I know the graph is going to kind of look like that shape right there. They might actually want you to say uh, rise to the left, fall to the right. Another way that they can say it is as it goes to negative infinity, it's going to be increasing. As it goes to positive infinity, it's going to be de uh, decreasing. So uh, just depending on how they want your answer written, just kind of be aware of the different ways that you can state it. But it all does mean the same thing. For example, B, we have g of x is equal to 5x times 2x minus 3 cubed times x plus 2 squared. So the leading, or I'm sorry, the degree of this function here is actually going to be a 6. And the way that we know that, that, uh, that for this one here is we have a lot of different things that are getting multiplied. So we can't just say, hey, it's a 3, hey, it's a 2, that kind of thing. We need to understand that all of this is getting multiplied to each other. So if I take a look at the first, um, the first factor here, I have x to the first power. My middle factor here is to the third power. And my third factor here is to the second power. If you combine all of those, this 1 plus this 3 plus this 2, that's a total of 6. So the degree for this function is a 6, because if you were to multiply this all the way out, you would see that your highest power is going to be something x to the sixth power. You can go ahead and multiply it all out if you want to, but you can just take a look at the highest power of each uh, factor that you have there and add those up. So for example b, it's a 6, and if I take a look at my leading coefficient, it is positive. So since this is a 6, that means it's going to be even, and it's positive, so it's going to be doing this thing right here. It's going to be rising to the left and rising to the right. Right, so rising to the left, rising to the right. So we can say that. Rise to the left, rise to the right. Okay. Or as it goes to negative infinity, it's going to be increasing. As it goes to positive infinity, it's going to be increasing. For example, C. So there's nothing that needs to be multiplied or simplified there. So it's a matter of just looking at your leading coefficient here. And the power, the highest power is a 4. 
so that is an even degree. Um, and the leading coefficient is negative, so for an even degree with a negative leading coefficient, it's going to be falling to the left and falling to the right. right so falling to the left and also falling to the right. Or again, remember, another the way that we can say that is as it goes to negative infinity, it's going to be decreasing. As it goes to positive infinity, it's going to be decreasing. So it's going to be falling on both sides. Otherwise, that's it for this video.